Hi everyone! So, I was sent some sparkles to play with from the fabulous Petra Jakes. Um, I'll apologise now, my nails are looking hammered and a mess and very uneven, but I was trying out some other products as well on the same night in videos, so they're just a big mess. So I was sent a fine liner brush and three art gels. So I've prepped some tips with just some plain um, coloured acrylic, um, and I'm going to do some gel designs. So first impression, it's a teeny tiny super thin brush. Um, I just compared it to my Glitter Fairy one, and it's a little shorter, so I'd say it's about a nine millimeter, I think, brush. Um, but yeah, it was it was enjoyable to use and pleasant to use. Um, but I do like a slightly longer brush, so it depends what your personal preference is to your detailer brushes. I like how it's got lid handle um, thingy. I really hate getting nail art brushes that you can't put lids on and you can't protect the bristles. Um, just because the majority of salon, you know, how you store your brushes and salons and stuff will be a bit dusty. So I like to keep my brushes like correctly stored and protected so i got three gel pots um they're sturdy like glass gel, um pots um i got gold and silver and then antique gold um now as you're opening them i must say they look almost empty <laughs> As you can see, these are new pots that I've opened fresh. So yes, they do look half empty, which is why I'm going to stick a little stirrer in and you can see how full they are. I'm actually happy with that amount of gel because with the work you'll do with it, that will last you a long time. Um, I was just, as I opened it, I was like, oh, are these going to be one of those? Because some brands have like a deep base to it. And so you're getting like the thinnest layer of gel. Um, but yeah, I was quite happy with the amount of gel you received there. So I'm coming in, my dog's playing with a squeaky toy in the background, so I'm coming in first of all with the gold, no, antique gold, I think this one was, which is the really like bright gold. So I'm coming in with this first of all, and I'm just going to do a very simple swirly design, basically. Um, I flipped my tip up the other way just because it was easier for me using a new brush. To work with the gels, I really enjoyed them. They're very thin so they feel almost a little watery so for like gliding and creating lots of lines and designs really like it um, and it didn't actually take that much to build up so two or three layers and you could get a nice like built up design so when I first started playing I was like oh they're really thin mm, I'm not sure but actually I really enjoyed the consistency um, the brush I liked it, but I think I will continue to use my one. I do like a slightly longer bristle um, brush, so I do like the like 11, 10, 11 millimeter. Um, I also found it a little awkward to use just because, as you can see, the, the actual um, body of the brush, it's really skinny where I'm holding it, and it just doesn't didn't feel quite right in my hand. So I like something a little thicker to... Um, <sighs> a little thicker to hold on to. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my filthy mind is going off in really wrong directions there. Um, so yeah, the brush is nice to use, but as I said, it's very thin. And if I had my long nails, I would definitely struggle to hold this. Um, but yeah, it, it was nice and it created a nice design. So I'm just going to do like a swirly design here. Um, I'm going to let this carry on playing away. Um, and then I'll come back to you when I start layering up.
So this cured really well in my LED lamp. Um, I cured it for 60 seconds. And then when I wanted to layer up, I just um, layered um, on kind of like the end details of all the swirls. Just adding a little bit in there too. So when I'm um, adding in, I just get um, like a small bead. You don't, you don't want to go excessive with these art gels. A small bead where I want the layering to go and then just pull away from it in like a comma so that the bulk of the gel then stays um, at the bit where you're wanting to build up and then you just in it blends in and I did find that they blended in really nicely and as I said about three layers and I built up a nice 3D effect on the nail. Now, I did a third design on the burgundy with the gold and I didn't record it and I honestly, <laughs> I could punch myself, <laughs> but yeah, I didn't record that one. So we're going straight onto the purple with the silver um, and this one I went for kind of like a just random strokes, tigery kind of print with this. Um, and again, it was, you know, I didn't want to build up a thickness or layer. I just wanted to paint on um, and I painted this straight on top of top coat. And this is one good thing about this as well. It wasn't overly raised. They're really highly pigmented, but wasn't overly raised. So um, you can get a nice design without looking too bulky or um, uneven um, in the pattern. So, yeah, I'm just going to continue to make a kind of like random silvery um, line design on this nail. And I have to say, this shade of silver I really liked, and I did really like the gold. I think the antique gold is, is very gold, so I think I'll mainly use that like Christmas nails. But um, the um, the gold and the silver definitely will become go-to colours. I thought they were really nice, so really nicely, highly pigmented, and lovely to use. Um, and when these are cured, um, I did use my gel white because there's a very, very faint tacky layer left on top. Um, and um, then I was done. So thank you again, Petra, for sending me these goodies to um, have a little play with. Um, I will pop the um, links in the description below if you would like to get some of these off Petra. Um, yeah, and thanks for joining in. And I hope you enjoyed this design video. And I will do my best to get um, the design I missed out. I will redo that and do another video soon. See you all soon. Bye.